police this time of day? What's going on? Hey, what is going on? Well, you going to answer me? Now, I put too many years in that plant. Somebody's going to answer me, but I have to be Mr. Ballard himself. I spent too many years making that water fish fresh. And look at it. Look at that. For God's sake, you didn't have to kill him. It was Ezra. He called me cold. Callie, the old guy that used to work in filtration? Yeah, he knew right off what we were doing. I had to. How did you plan on going this far? Well, there's no time to worry about that. You want to move it before somebody comes tippy going down the road and just spots us? Come on! Sometimes right can hurt you more than wrong But you can't do choosing by the pain The only thing a man can do is live up to his name Walking tall, I'm putting evil on the run Walking tall, cause I did what had to be done I'm walking tall, I'm feeling strong Tonight, Buford Pusser, a legendary sheriff of his time, upholds the law against the criminals who strike the innocent. You know, Judge, off to one of those judges' conventions again? Nope. Don't you start on me, Buford. Whatever it is, I am not in the mood. Well, what's the matter? One of your deputies just fished Ezra Cawley's body out of the river. I'm sorry, Buford. He was my friend, too. Tell me about Ezra. Well, it looks like a fishing accident, Buford. He's wearing uh, waders and a fishing vest when we pulled him out. Coroner's doing an autopsy right now. And there was a bruise on his head. The preliminary is he slipped, hit his head, and drowned. Has anyone told Mrs. Cawley? No one, not yet. This can't be right. Hey. What are you doing here so early? Hiya. Uh, just catching up on some stuff I promised I'd do over the weekend and did not. You and me both. I spent half the weekend in the hospital. <gasps> Melissa had the baby? False alarm. I'm convinced it was the milkshake, two burgers, and three orders of french fries. <laughs> Tom, can I play a mind game with you for a minute? If you must. Suppose we increase production around here. Everybody knows we've uh, doubled production the last year. Why? Right. We've doubled production. And according to this printout, our toxic wastes are in excess of federal regulations and have been for quite a while. Yeah, so what's the problem? The problem is that's not what I've been reporting to the EPA every month. <laughs> Why not? It's all right here. It hasn't made sense to me for three months. I've written memos. I've called filtration. Nothing. Now I know why. Somebody's falsifying the records. Maybe the company made other arrangements for disposing of the excess. Have you seen any of the paperwork? Because I haven't. Contracts, invoices, anything. Tom, um, something ain't right. I think you better forget you ever saw that. We're talking about herbicides here. Organophosphates. First cousins to Agent Orange. They can paralyze any form of living tissue. They can pass right through the whole food chain. Why do you think the EPA has such strict limits on how much of the stuff we can dump into the river? Lynn, 
I think you ought to do the job you're paid to do. Anything else means trouble. Big trouble. Okay? How does a thing like this happen? Well, either somebody's using the wrong conversion index, and we are over-discharging inadvertently, or the monitoring system's misbehaving. Anyway, that's my job. When's the next EPA report due? The end of the week. Well, that's tight. I'll get right on it. Ballard Industries is certainly indebted to you, Lynn. Thank you. I really think it's important that this be taken care of immediately. I wouldn't want Ballard Industries being accused of such a serious matter. I'll get right on it. Can I come in? Oh, shoot. Come in. You think we can sit down for a bit? you can tell me. It's Ezra, isn't it? What's happened? There's been an accident. I knew it. For years I've been telling him that he's too old to go fishing alone at night. But no, he won't listen. Yes, sir. Well, you know, just every morning before sunup, he... he Ever since he retired from the plant, he's he's up and out, and he, he puts on those old waders and, and that dang old hat. And yes, sir, you you know you fished with him often enough. You know how good he looks and. He's gone from me, isn't he, Bill? Yeah, he is. I'm sorry, Carl. <gasps> Mr. Ballard, we've got problems. Lynn Hudson's at it again. And no memos or phone messages. This time, she came in early and ran a computer herself. And the solution's simple. Erase this in the computer and reprogram it with what we want. Is there something a little too complicated about that for you? No, it's just that the next EPA report's due the end of this week. And I've got an ugly feeling that she's got a copy of that. Oh, Ed. See what happens when you kill someone? Right away, it becomes the solution for all your problems. Oh, damn it, Ed. I've got over 30 years of my life down in that plant. Almost lost it last year. Stepping up production's the only way I can keep those doors open. I know that. Wait a minute, uh, programming lady. She the same one who used to work for Metropolitan Power up in Baltimore? Yeah, I came here a couple of months ago. Yeah, just about the time they started having their troubles with the EPA. Almost shut them down. You think there's a connection? That she's uh, an investigator for the EPA or some consumer group? No, I don't have time to find out right now, do I? Now, take a look out that window. Yeah, you get me Rutledge at the front gate. Now, right now. Hold it, it's no use. She's already gone. Where's Wilson? He's making a trailer drop. Why? You get him on the radio. Tell him... 
tell him to make sure she never comes back. 